So Austin John Murder went to prison in December 2016 when Melbourne was only five or six weeks old for abusing us. But the police put on the report that he had violated his probation. He was on a two year felony probation for assault on a public servant. And he got that charge when he was in the Montgomery County Jail from being arrested at uh, 230 Avenue G. And he was charged with domestic family violence, assault family violence, after a neighbor uh, called the police because he was punching me all in my head and everything. So while he was in there on that charge for about a month or so, he had assaulted a public servant. And he was charged uh, for assaulting a public servant, and they put him on a uh, two-year felony probation, but they dropped the domestic violence charge because I didn't press charges because of Cynthia Oliveira because of Austin's mother was helping me out with the rent at 230 Avenue G. And of course, I still loved him. I had like the Stockholm syndrome, but they over here trying to cover it up. This was my new place that I got while he was in the uh, jail for a rape charge. And I was taking care of Melbourne Matter the entire time that he was in prison in TDCJ for 19 months. So here is me taking care of this child for two years and they are trying to give this man my entire identity it's like almost the entire country is involved with erasing my identity covering up the evidence that this is my child that i was taking care of this baby while this man was in prison he was not doing anything for this baby cynthia wasn't there none of my family wasn't there and they over here trying to paint me out to be a bad mom as you can see, I'm right here taking care of him. The entire Conroe Police Department was over there trying to erase 911 calls and everything. This is at 1301 Houston Street where he was arrested from for the felony probation. And there were several calls made to the police department by neighbors, by civilians. There were several holes punched all in the walls. And I had to get him out of there. So Melby was six weeks old when he went to uh, prison. And here is me and Mel in our house living just fine. But Cynthia Vera co-signed for me to get this apartment because I was pregnant. And I was on the streets for like, I really wasn't on the streets, but I had to be out of that apartment. And I moved into this apartment like the day that I needed to be out of that last apartment. So Austin was not on this lease.